Azurex and uh, I was on Facebook the other day and saw a really neat recipe for what they called a bacon wrap pizza burrito. So I thought that I would try that out and let you guys watch along with me. Hey look, magic fingers. So let's get started. I got a Tony's. This is just a little pizza, thawed out, ready to roll up. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Get you a look at that. Ooh, see how good the camera focuses in. This is a new camera for me, so I'm trying things out too. So, there's that. Try to frame this a little better for us. Get rid of the old pot belly there. Uh, all right. Okay, we're going to use a deeper pan instead of a little thin cookie tray because we're going to have bacon. Even though this bacon is turkey bacon from Jenny O. Oh, Jenny. Good old turkey bacon. Thought I'd give that a try. So, I've already got the oven started heating up. And go ahead and use this to work on. I think I might need to nuke this pizza really quick just to get it warm so it'll roll right. Excuse the noise, but that's all part of working in the kitchen. <laughs> And grab my handy ceramic knife that I have. And a plastic cutting board. Plastic cutting boards are important for ceramic knives. And get the bacon open. Impressive looking bacon. Back over here, get this out of the way for a second. Out of heaven peeling. Alright. So it says to take about eight pieces of regular bacon and lay it out overlapping itself. So as you can see, this bacon is overlapping itself. There's no way it's going to fit one of these pizzas. So I'm just going to use this box here to kind of lay out the bacon as a measurement of how big this pizza roll might be. So I'll line up from that edge to that edge and see if we can make a nice little cover for the pizza burrito. size of the box here measuring out how wide the roll needs to be. And because of the way the bacon shape, I'm gonna rotate this one. See if we can't get a little bit more room out of it. Alright, there were nine pieces in this pack, so I'm just gonna use all nine pieces and that looks like it'll be about right. Wipe my hands off. This pizza looks like it's ready to roll. But before I do that, I'm going to add some chicken. I got this at a local place here where I live that sells big bags of wholesale chicken. So this is just basically Fajita chicken or whatever kind of chicken that you want to use it for.
cut and chunked. It's been grilled and cooked previously. I don't know if that's focusing in, but there you go. So I'm going to sprinkle some of that on top of this pizza. It's already a cheap little supreme pizza from... Oh yeah, I'm going to roll it up, so I better make that so it'll roll. There, that should work. Got to think ahead sometimes. And I don't have any sliced cheese, but in a case like this, just about anything will work. So, get some easily multiple American cheese. I do believe my dog wants a piece. You want a piece, Walker? There you go, boy. All right. Can't pet you right now, dude. I'm cooking. It doesn't have to be torn apart nicely. Because it's going inside of a pizza. It's going to melt. And it's not going to be on display. Man, this is looking good already. Okay. So. There we have it. I'm going to try and twist this sucker up like a hooter and see what happens. seems like it has a tendency to want to break up but I think that'll be fine because we're wrapping it in bacon now, I didn't really think ahead about this but I bet you if I place a knife edge underneath this yep that worked out pretty good itself. There we go. And voila! That's pretty cool. Let me wash my hands. There we go. Let me get this light going. I should have had that on the whole time, I guess. Yeah. Bacon wrap pizza burrito. So I already have the oven heated up. And I do believe that I am ready to stick it in there. Let's see what happens. So, there it is. Put up this extra piece of cheese. So, I guess while that's cooking, we'll take a little bit of a break. But, I just want to say, if you have the opportunity to get a ceramic knife, these things are great. They work wonders. They're really sharp. But you got to make sure that you don't use the wrong surface, like uh, cutting directly on a countertop or on a stone plate. Or on a rock or trying to cut limbs. Use a plastic cutting board of some style, either one of these or one of... Ooh, one of these. Flippity floppity ruse here. Where's the camera? Oh, there we go. Um, One of these. That one's brand new. I haven't broke it out yet. So, anyway, we'll get right back to you, folks. Let's see how this thing turns out. All right. So I thought that I would come back in here and check the progress of this again. I came in uh, a little bit earlier. I turned it on broil to brown the bacon and hey, that looks like it's working good. Got some stuff coming out the ends of it. Man, that's looking scrumptious. 
Now, I did forget to use a deep pan. Oh, God, that's fucking hot. Excuse the language. Whew. But, like I said, I, uh, didn't use any high fat bacon, so I don't have a lot of drainage. Let's tilt this on its side to kind of let some of that drain off. It's on there. It's probably mainly from the cheeses. Maybe some from the bacon. And uh, as soon as it cools off, I will get back to you. Man, that looks good. Okay, so here we are. Getting ready to cut into this thing. Give you a once over on it. Looking pretty good. In case you guys are wondering about my plates here, they're Salem China stoneware oven to table. They make really good burner covers too. Really pretty pattern on it. You can't see it real well right there, but uh, I got that at a uh, yard sale for eight dollars for the complete set, gravy bowls, ladles, and everything. Um, also, I got a really nice set of uh, rose pattern. I got this coffee maker. Uh, if you're on a budget or just don't want to spend a whole lot of money, go to your local thrift stores and look around. I got this for 50 cents. My other one that I had was a real nice one, but it ended up having problems. Okay, so let me get the camera set up, and uh, we'll get to cutting this thing and see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so, like I said before, uh, I have these ceramic knives, but, well, I hope that's in focus. Anyway, I have these ceramic knives, and uh, you don't use them on plates like that. I do have, however, my favorite standby knife. A little Ginsu Eversharp. Let's cut this thing open and see what happens. Bring in a little bit closer, see if I can see what's going on here. Ooh, too much zoom. Oh, man, oh man. Surgeon? Certainly. Probably should have finished cutting this before I picked up the camera. But man, look at the steam coming off that thing. Ooh. Sorry, I'm loving this new camera. It's a Nikon Coolpix S6900. Let's give this thing a quick cut real quick. Gosh. Um, has a 3-inch touch screen. Feels like it's burning across the bottom. Let's just see. Oh, no, it looks about right to me. Yummy, yummy. All right, so there you have it. Uh, the pizza burrito, bacon wrap, bacon wrap pizza burrito. There we go. That's what we were making. Came out pretty good. If I say so myself. It's had a few minutes to sit here and cool after the last little break I took. Uh, this is uh, really cheap to make. I bought the pizza from the Dollar Tree. I bought the cheese from the Dollar Tree. Bought the bacon from the Dollar Tree. Had the chicken on hand. Uh, threw it all together. So this cost, gosh, one, two, about uh, $2.50 to make if you're on a budget. And uh, don't you wish you were here. All right. I'm going to go eat this thing. Hey, look, it's a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, yes, no, live, die. I think this is going to live, folks. All right, so anyway, from the general, uh, General Vape Info and Rex Buchanan, uh, that's just a little short cooking video. Hopefully in 1080p, just checking out my camera quality. I'm going to do something real quick. And thanks for watching, y'all.